from Wisconsin Indian Head Technical College, Logan Smith. I'm the last one, everybody. <laughs> My name is Logan Smith, as said before. I am the WITC Shorter. I represent the largest technical college system uh, with four campuses I represent as the ambassador. I'd like to shorten it with WITC. Makes it easy on everybody. I enrolled in the Associate's Degree Program for Architectural Commercial Design at WITC. Um, I chose that program because at an early age, I found myself sketching a lot when I was younger. Uh, a lot of buildings, I find myself uh, going into really nice buildings like this uh, and nerding out at some of the ceiling and, and some of the columns here. I learned from an early on uh, stage in my like, young adult life that I wanted to be an architect or something close and have some aspect uh, and foot in construction. Um, and so growing up through high school, I kind of set my focus on that. A little bit about my high school and my hometown. I come from Glenwood City, Wisconsin. It is a very small town in the farmlands of Midwestern Wisconsin of about 1,200 people. My graduating class size was 39 people. Two of them dropped out. So on stage, we walked with 37 people in, in total. Um, coming from a small school, we didn't have a lot of opportunities as a lot of the D2s, D1 schools in the area that are within all a uh, 15 minute drive. We are necessarily forgotten about by other college visits and technical college systems. However, we have one awesome technical college system roughly 15 minutes from us, and we have CVTC about a 40 minute drive from us. We had a very lacking education system in our high school. That is understandable for its size. I did my best and thrived as a scholar in the high school, lettering all four years of uh, high school. I also became very active in the construction and technical education uh, classes that were offered at my high school. I became a very accomplished welder and more so a very accomplished construction builder with light construction as a highlight. I thought that was very interesting at the time. Until one day, I cannot remember, but a technical college promoter came, I believe it was Globe University or CVTC, that just so happened to show us in the technical education program an architectural related field of career uh, choices that you could go into. From that point on, I realized that not only my dreams could be met as a career path as I'm getting older, and I could also stay in construction to something that I'm very passionate about. I immediately, uh, about my senior year, um, went and applied at CVTC. I was accepted almost immediately as a pre-programmed student. The program that I was in was very popular at the time and still remains very popular today. Upon graduation, we are either given a path, either join a four-year technical school or a four-year university or join the military or join uh, your family as a farmer. I wanted to basically break that mold uh, and set myself uh, apart from other people in my class. So in the fall of 2015, I enrolled at CPTC and became uh, a student. Um, I, at this time, was working full time at Anderson Windows, which was a short drive from, from school. I, coming from a very poor family, uh, much like uh, others from Glenwood City, um, I was able to work and I discovered that money is really nice. Um, <laughs> I became uh, very active at work and started taking on hours that I couldn't <coughs> potentially handle and go to school for full time. Being that I was pre-programmed, I kind of let work started taking over. Um, I let it start kind of getting the best of me. Um, I felt that uh, supply chain management path was probably another interest that I had. I had the unique opportunity of working my way up all the way through 2015 in a full school year and through the entire year of 2016 with the company. In late 2017, where we were made aware um, that a possible position was opening up in a brand new facility down south in Douglasville, Georgia and Atlanta, Georgia. I was selected from 75 other candidates in the warehouse due to my strong work ethics um, to go down and train culturally um, diverse communities, such as Mexican-Americans, uh, immigrants. We had Somali immigrants. Um, 
Coming from a small community, I was very shocked to see all this diversity. Um, when I was down there, I found myself often bragging about how wonderful um, my schooling was, and I truly did enjoy it. Many of the times, uh, the workers asked me, what the heck am I doing in a supply chain management warehouse position if I love architecture so much? At the end of this stay, uh, for about a month and a half, I was down there. I met with the OM and I asked, what do you see myself in? He, as well as others, said that I could finally reach my goal and be happy with not just making money, but truly find my passion by going back to school and staying with the architectural program that I, that I originally applied for. Um, about a year later, I finally took that to heart and left Anderson Windows, and I was pretty much on the uh, options table for anything that was open. I do plan on getting my bachelor's degree, so I started thinking about four-year schools again. I realized that I'm from a small town, and I think a lot of the things that uh, distracted me at CBTC was the, the size. For somebody that has been in the area for a long time, a place like Eau Claire, Wisconsin is not too big. Um, when I went and visited New Richmond, which is my home campus for WITC, I was just walking around the campus exploring. It was brand new and renovated. It was beautiful. I then bumped elbows in the summer of 2018 with a, a man named Stephen Duss. This man is about 6'2". Um, I, I looked up to the man, um, and then right now I, I look up to the man. Um, <laughs> I can, I can uh, attribute my, my going to school to WITC to Stephen Duss. Um, immediately after meeting him, he asked me what my name was, as, as well as other faculty members. This was around the registration time for school, roughly a month before uh, schooling was to start in August. I, as well as other kids at the school, weren't forgotten about. He miraculously remembered my name, as well as other students throughout the campus, and I knew immediately that it felt just like home. I wanted to go to school where somebody knew me as me and not just another number in the school system. I felt that the class sizes at the Tech College were small enough to where I could get direct engagement with the instructors and the students within the classes that I was taking. I've had a lot of success there throughout the last eight and a half months now as we start to end my first year at WITC. I can say that I have made plenty of connections throughout the last six and a half months with all these new ambassador opportunities that have come forth to me. At my college, students have a support network that are, isn't found at universities. And I think that you can see a pattern here throughout the other ambassadors tonight, and I think you can probably relate to that yourselves, that you're not just some person. I believe that my success, as well as other students' success, in the industry and at school is attributed to the wonderful faculty found on all these uh, technical college campuses. Um, it has set me up right now for a wonderful career path that I'm going to hopefully uh, get a wonderful internship uh, in Eau Claire at River Valley Architects. I'm going to be applying there religiously throughout the next couple months. I want to work there. Um, some of my goals in life as I start to approach the summer here, I mentioned that I want to try to get internships wherever it may lead um, to build in the Chippewa Valley area or into the Minnesota area. However, I do want to be a contributing member to my state, and it takes great pride to say that I do want to stay within my hometown area. It is under immense growth and opportunity. I do want to grow with a company that partakes me as an individual and a contributor to their company. Uh, with the Chippewa Valley area, you see a lot of growth and construction. Uh, my trades um, that I am in right now, especially with my program, is a lacking industry. A lot of the construction industry is very much so derelict. Uh, there's not a lot of people doing it. Um, I would like to open up my own design uh, build firm within the next five to ten years or more, however lo long it may take me, and continue to grow the area and employing other, empl uh, other students within the technical college system to come work for me. 
another future another future goal Another future goal that I would like to have is to get my architect's uh, license within three to five years, but that comes with experience. Um, as I round out this speech here, uh, I would like to thank the donors um, back at home for giving me scholarship opportunities that I may have not uh, have been aware of. Um, I would like to thank Derek Construction for giving me a generous scholarship that I received last week. I'm going to be very happy to apply that for my next semester. Um, I would also like to thank my father, Mark Smith. Because of his veteran background in the Air Force, I am able to have the unique opportunity to have my schooling paid for because of the uh, Wisconsin GI Bill. Coming from a poor family of both a twin brother and a sister, it is very hard to support three growing adults. And coming from a single family, for that matter, it is very important for me to make my father happy. I can say that without the GI Bill that I would not be at the WITC system and that I would be working at some dead end job and not attributing to my, my real skill set that I've learned throughout the past week. Um, this event has prepared me for, for a multitude of things. Um, I've developed skills that, uh, within the last day and a half that I never even knew I had. Um, <laughs> The wonderful people that I've got to know all, all today um, is outstanding. I, I can't say enough about them. You guys are all beautiful people. It was great uh, this, all this afternoon. Um, I would also like to thank the board for, for setting this all up and everybody behind the scenes setting this event up as well. Um, I, I can't say enough. And then thank you, David, uh, for keeping in touch with me and communicating. I am in New Richmond, so it is hard to reach the home parent uh, campus of Rice Lake. So good communication skills by your end has helped me through this whole process. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for attending tonight, and have a great and wonderful evening. If you're driving home, get home safe. Uh, thank you.